Kyle Toyota says, I told you so. Fortune reports that the Toyota CEO said in reaction to Tesla's less than optimal performance in the third quarter, people are finally seeing reality. Quarterly earnings were down 10% from an already negative forecast, sparking a 17% landslide in Tesla shares and a $138 billion drop in market cap. As reported, there are other signs that the EV hype machine is slowing. Toyota said, quote, there are many ways to climb the mountain, referring to zero emission vehicle. GM agrees, or so it would seem, as they announce a slowdown in EV production pointing towards softening demand and strike-related issues. Also, Ford is pulling back on the production of the F-150 Lightning, as well as others like Lucid, who's pulling back 30%, and Chevy delaying the introduction of the Silverado EV for a full year. Paige Haggy, the author of the Fortune article, does a great job in presenting all sides and pressures that make up the turbulent market for EVs. From political pressures in blue and red states to the changes in relational aspects between vehicle and drivers, there are and will be many hurdles in the developing market. But as Jessica Caldwell, head of insights at Edmonds is quoted, the industry is moving towards EVs. To deny that would be unwise. I totally agree. I'm not sure how you can deny that the industry is moving towards EVs. However, to not question how wise a move that is would be unwise. I mean, even the industry itself is questioning those moves as seen in the pullback of productions. How does this impact EVs in the commercial space? Does this impact infrastructure advancements? It is not necessarily the desire to move to EVs, but the ability to charge them that becomes a limiting factor in this space in particular is for sure. What it certainly illustrates is that the full-on EV adoption in commercial and private sectors is not just around the corner. Thank you.